Hello everyone, it's me, Apple, Red Apple, and I'm going to teach you the Alana lesson. It is said that nature loves symmetry. If there is good, there should be bad. If there is white, there should be black. If there is positive, there should be negative. So in this way, if some door is open, it means it is not closed. And if it is closed, then it means it is not open. So if there is open set, shouldn't there be closed sets? Hello friends, welcome to Mathverse. This is the second video of real analysis and this video I am going to talk about the closed sets. See like the previous video on open set, I am not going to uh, uh, talk about any theorems here uh, because theorems are the backbone and those are the main thing. But before coming to theorem, I need some intuitive ideas, okay. So that's why I am making this video. Now we can define closed set in terms of open set or in terms of limit point. So for the first thing, the definition in terms of open set. Now if a set A is complement of an open set B, then the set A is called a closed set. It means we have a set A and we have a set open set B. If A is complement of the set B, then A is closed set. Now here we have provided one example where this B set is an open set and we have show the B complement here and how the closed set it looks. I wanted to show that thing to you. That is why I have given this one and now at this moment you just take this definition as right and let's move on. Okay, so here I demonstrate what is written there. Now this is my number line and this is the set B which is shown there which is indeed union of open sets finite union of open sets and as we know or uh, we are going to prove in our next video when we shall prove the theorems of open sets then we shall show that the union of arbitrary number of open sets is actually open sets so we can certainly say that this B set which is actually union of open sets is an open set obviously and why all this bks are open set because see we do those are open intervals so they must be open set right okay so for the first point let us color the portion of this bks here okay so when you put k equal to one then it becomes two comma three open interval so let me write here 2 comma 3 open interval remember one thing open interval includes all the points between 2 and 3 but just excludes 2 and 3 okay okay so when we put k equal to 2 then it is big it is from 4 to 5 this open interval right and when it is 3 k equal to 3 then this open interval from 6 to obviously from 2 7 now when it is n the value of the k is n then this one is this open interval right let us paint them okay now it remains that what will be the a uh, complement of this one we are interested more about finding the complement of B okay so I have written that there but let me first here show that how that comes first of all we shall indicate those, those portion which are not colored by the red color right to do that, let me choose the green color. Yeah, red and green are quite complementary in all the senses. Please don't make it political. Now, this entire portion up to 2 will be in B complement. So, how should we write that? We can write that in this way. It x, all the points x such that x is less than or equal to Two. or equivalently we can write it in a different way open at minus infinity and closed at 2 see 
In the last video, I introduced the ideas of open intervals and this is the way how we write the closed interval. Obviously, this is not a closed or open interval, but still, this portion means, this uh, third bracket means, it is actually including that point, okay? Now, for the second one, this much. In the green color, I am denoting the complementary portions, okay? And then this entire portion okay so what we shall write this portion the smaller portions like uh, I can say after six here will be one seven right so this red portion will be up to seven and then from seven to eight there will be this green portion in this way okay so we should take union obviously because this portion is in complement of B. The smaller green portions are also in the complement of B. And then this larger portion is again in complement of B. So we should take one union. And then, then entirely the smaller portions can be written explicitly. Okay. But before doing that, let me write one more step here. So I can write here the 3 comma 4 open closed interval like this one is closed interval it means all the points between 3 and 4 including 3 and 4 okay okay so then 3 and 4 then um, this will be 5 and 6 then 5 and 6 uh, in union so on and then finally this one will be 2n plus 1 comma plus infinity open at plus infinity it cannot reach infinity so we write it in this way so this is actually what my the say what my set is here okay now we can obviously write this portion in a different way let me write it below here so for the first portion this one is i am not preferring this symbol i am preferring this symbol okay for this portion this one will be x such that x is less than or equal to 2. Then we shall take an union and then another union and that will be of the closed sets. Closed sets like what? Closed sets like x such that 2k plus 1 is less equal to x less equal to 2k plus 2. And obviously this union will extend from k equal to 1 to n minus 1 right let me show you something all the open intervals are in 2k 2k plus 1 format okay so i can write it in this way they are 2k 2k plus 1 2k plus 2 and so on okay so when my open interval is from 2k to 2k plus 1 therefore certainly the the complement of this thing one what he, in the left side forget that just for the generalized version this portion the outside of 2k to 2k plus 1 what portion remains there is 2k plus 1 and 2k plus 2 this closed interval remains okay so we have written it here actually we can symbolically read write it similarly minus infinity equal to 2 union the big union k equal to 1 to n minus 1 closed interval of 2k plus 1 comma 2k plus 2 okay then at the lastly this portion so this is the set x such that x is greater than or equal to 2n plus 1 right so this one is uh, this i can write it in different way this is closed at 2n plus 1, open at infinity. So, this is what I have got. Now, according to the definition, since this one is the complement of this set B, and since B is an open set, and this is the complement of the set B, therefore, this set is actually a closed set. Now, since you have got clearance of the previous example, now, let's, let's show you that why a finite set is always closed set okay now let's come to the second uh, thing that the all finite sets are closed set because their complement is always open let me just demonstrate it, it by the 
number line see here we are taking from one to as we have done there from one to k one two three four dot 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 then up to k so what we are interested about the set that we have there the set a will be denoted by this portion okay so let me show you this one this is one element of that two another three another four another and then finally k one another now what is the complement of that portion complement of the portion will be from minus infinity to up to this point except the one then all open intervals you guys can see understand it clearly that all in between are open intervals because see two is in a 3 is in A. So, what remains between 2 and 3 will be in A complement, obviously. So, A complement is actually all points between 2 and 3 except 2 and 3. So, this is an open interval. In this way, we shall extend up to up to the last this for this K. And after K, there we shall get here open up to the infinity. This portion will be open set because from the definition of interior point, you guys can easily check that all points here will be interior points. All points here will also be interior points and these are open intervals. So these are simply the open sets. So union of open sets is open set. Therefore, since A complement is open, this implies A complements complement that is A is closed. So by this one we have proved that any finite set is a closed set. Now in the next way by which we shall prove closed set by limit point then we shall prove it again. Now we have reached the point when we can talk about limit point and define closed set by limit points. So now what is a limit point? As the definition says that a point alpha is called a limit point of a set a e for any epsilon and remember this epsilon is very 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 much small the greater than but that is positive number there exists one neighborhood of a a very small epsilon neighborhood such that that deleted neighborhood of alpha and if we take intersection or with a then it will be non-empty it means that this deleted neighborhood of alpha has some point common with a it means there are some points which belongs to this tilted neighborhood of alpha and also to A. Okay. Let me show this by pen and paper. Now, when this alpha is a limit point of set A, okay, let this be the set A. This much be the set A. Now, let uh, I am see alpha can be there inside A or it can be outside of A also. It doesn't matter in the case of limit point. Let it be inside. Okay. Now, here is alpha. If we can find some neighborhood here, some epsilon neighborhood here, such that if we exclude this point alpha, if we minus this point alpha, still all the portion remaining here if they have something common with this set a then we shall call this alpha as a limit point okay and about the deleted neighborhood which i was saying there it means that i have everything it means that alpha is here this is minus epsilon plus epsilon we have everything here except we have deleted that point there is a there is a gap and all the points are remaining okay that is what i mean so i hope you guys have understood that in my pen and paper so now move to this diagram here in the left side here you see for the set where the elements are one by n where n is the natural number the first point is when n is equal to one it is one then it is becoming half when n is two, then one third, then one fourth, one fifth, one sixth. And as you guys can see, the points are decreasing. I mean, the values are decreasing or the values of n is increasing. The points are getting concentrated. That points are getting, you know, they are, they are like uh, 
overlapping one on one another though it is not overlapping but since we are limited by our technology therefore we can show them so here I have denoted it by a red line where it means that concentration of the points is so close that I can show them okay now just think one thing this n will increase up to infinity but obviously it cannot cannot ever reach infinity but still it will move up to infinity and as it moves just think one thing it will tend towards zero it will be it may not touch ever zero but it will tend towards zero right so whenever we take zero we take one epsilon we take any small epsilon we can find one member of the set and this is proved by this one take any epsilon neighborhood then it is minus epsilon obviously minus epsilon less than 1 by n and that will be less than epsilon and that is satisfied by the Archimedean principle okay so I hope you guys have understood this and why the limit point of this set 1 by a equal to 1 by n such that n becomes to n is 0 I think you guys have understood it okay now here I have illustrated it more than the previous one okay see what's happening here here I am showing you we have reached to a very 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 small point and that is 1 by 10 to the power minus 100 it means the value of n here is 10 to the power 100 a googleplex okay so here we have the point and then when we reach 10 to the power minus 990 that one is here so for that one we can get this green box that is actually I am denoting one epsilon neighborhood or one neighborhood of zero which contains this small point and if we reach for the small where it is 10 to the power minus 10 minus 1000 there also we can find this red box that is another neighborhood of zero it means by pictorially I am showing here however small you make the number here we will be able to get a very beautiful neighborhood of this zero that is why here zero is the limit point this is a very important concept and this concept is going to help us in the next point let me give you some special examples first of all a set which contains all of its limit point okay as you guys can see this is minus 1 by n and union with that I have taken 0 and then union 1 by n now from the previous example there you can say that this 1 by n tends to 0 similarly this minus 1 by n will also tend to 0 and that 0 is still there inside this set okay again the closed interval that I have talked about that contains all of its limit points now a set which contains some of its limit point but not all of them open interval AB all the points in open interval AB are limit points except this A and B point are also limit point because you don't know what is the number exact after this A you cannot say where actually this open interval AB is starting that's why there is no beginning and in that sense you can say this closed inter this in this uh, a and this b for this open interval are limit points now a set which contains none of its limit point obviously this one you guys can see from the example of this one by n you guys can understand here that this set this will have a limit point one so this doesn't contain one this set doesn't contain one okay now the most important here a set which exactly contains p plus one number of limit points how to find that out let me show you it in pen and paper now for the example of exactly p plus one number of limit points let me uh, demonstrate this one the set is cos of n pi by p plus one by n such that n and p both belong to set of all natural numbers right okay so let's check here 
now what we have to show we have to show that this set has p plus one number of elements okay now i want to tell you guys one thing i am giving a generalized here but you guys can show that set with three limit points set with three limit points is cos n pi by 3 sorry 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 2 plus 1 by n this is a set with three limit points set with four limit points is cos of n pi by 3 plus 1 by n now as you can observe obviously the number here is the main factor the number of limit points is one greater than the number here i hope you guys can understand so now let me try with this one okay now before coming to this one let me try with this because when i shall do a particular one it will be better for uh, you, you easy for you guys to understand the generalized one okay so let me try with this one so cos of we are interested about finding out the number of limit points of this set okay so let me tell you guys one thing we know that this trigonometric functions here we have cos this trigonometric functions are periodic so they repeat after some time so when this number is here some values will repeat for this part okay obviously the values from this part will not repeat but this part will repeat again and again now i'm giving you a giving you a trick and i shall not explain why that trick has taken birth but i shall give you one hint first thing is that whenever you find this type of thing to operate or to find out the uh, after how many times this gets repeated i am giving you a simple hint hint replace this n with whatever here whatever we have here just multiply that with 2 and then introduce a new variable m that is replace n with 4m not only this one first replace n with 4m then 4m plus 1 4m plus 2 then 4m plus 3 and why do i do it i'm not giving telling you why but do you know this sexy woman if you don't then go and learn this one first then come le to learn analysis this is a damn sexy thing and actually this is not this one this one is very beautiful thing just go and learn her first then I, you come here okay so let us try with this one now as we can show i can i can tell you that because of this four generalized values of n the values of this portion will repeat again and again and again and again so we can say that there if this one if i call this set a and if it is the set a then we can have four partition or four compartment okay where in the first compartment there will be elements like cos of 4m pi by 2 plus 1 by 4m since n is replaced by 4m so there we shall be left with now cos of 4m pi by 2 is cos of 2m pi so it is 1 plus 1 by 4m so for one portion we shall get 1 plus 1 by 4m and the second portion we shall get cos of 4m plus 1 into pi by 2 plus 1 by 4m plus 1 that is see here what's happening here now cos of 2m pi plus pi by 2 plus 1 by 4m plus 1 so this one will become 0 obviously this one will become 0 and it will left with 1 plus 4m plus 1 so 1 sorry 1 by 4m plus 1 similarly similarly we shall be left with then cos of 4m plus 2 pi by 2 plus 1 by 4m plus 2 so this one will become cos of 2m pi plus pi which is minus 1 
plus 1 by 4m plus 2 minus 1 plus 1 by 4m plus 2 and then for the last one cos of 4m plus 3 pi by 2 plus 1 by 4m plus 3 and this will become this portion will become 0 again plus 1 by 4m plus 3 so 1 by 4m plus 3 so this is how the set a is being partitioned now see one thing all the elements like this let me use different colors all the elements of this type what is the limit point of the set let me show you 1 plus 1 by 4 1 plus 1 by 8 1 plus 1 by 12 and so on and on now this portion is reducing as it is growing therefore you can say it will at infinity become 0 and this portion will get 1 as the limit point clearly for these two they will get a common limit point 0 and this one get minus 1 as limit point so 3 limit point of this set now now let us do the generalized one with the generalized problem since I have done the previous video I have not going to I'm not going to show you explicitly what we have to do for this particular set that this set has exactly p plus one number of limit points just replace for the first point replace n with 2 p I'm sorry it is 2 p.m. okay 2 p.m. plus n with 2 p.m. then 2 p.m. plus 1 then 2 p.m. plus 2 so on and on then 2 p.m. plus p minus 1 okay sorry this one will be 2 p minus 1 so run up to this point and then try to do as I did in the previous video and we shall find out that you shall get one limit point from this one another from this one from this one and finally when you shall reach here by mean time you shall find some values are being repeated which values are repeated actually the values which will bear the periodicity they will be repeated and finally after coming here you shall get p plus 1 limit points okay just like the previous one since we have talked about the limit point now we can tell about the limit point of a particular set oh sorry the set of a limit points of a particular set that is what we are talking about let a be a set and the set which is which contains all the limit points of A is a derived set. Now, since we have talked enough about limit points, now it, ha it we have the time come where I am going to talk about the set of all limit points of a particular set. If A is a set, then the collection of all limit points of the set A is called derived set. And that is denoted by this a dash thing okay so from our previous examples for this set a a dash is zero for open interval a b the derived set is closed interval a b and since we can easily understand derived set of any finite set is phi why it is because for finite set you can obviously always find out some neighborhood centered at a point which has no common with the mother set actually okay so derived set of any finite set is always phi uh, let me show you this one by an example or in pen and paper okay so now we are going to define closed sets in terms of limit points first of all if a set contains all of its limit points then the set is called closed set it means or in other words if the derived set of a set is subset of it 
then it is indeed a closed set. Now, closed interval AB is closed set as all of its points are limit points. Okay, that is the thing that if a set contains all of its limit point, then it will be called closed set. Again, derived set of the finite set is phi, and then again, finite set contains phi also. So we can, in other words, say that derived set of finite set belongs to that finite set. Therefore, we can say that finite sets are closed set, like we proved it before with the help of open sets. Now, phi is also a closed set as it contains a derived set which is again phi. The real number is a closed set as it contains all of its limit points. n and z has no limit points obviously therefore the derived set of n is phi, derived set of z is also phi and therefore they are closed. Now q is not closed as derived set of q is actually set of all real numbers. You guys can understand that wherever you take any neighborhood of any rational number, you can find lots of rational number. Therefore, any rational number is limit point of that q. Now, take any rational number and take any neighborhood of that irrational number, you obviously will be able to find some rational numbers. So, therefore, the irrational numbers are also limit points of this q. Therefore, it means that q has its derived set as r itself. Okay. I think you guys have understood it. Okay. Now, here are some problems. Now, let me solve the problems. Uh, one thing very important. These are not all the problems that I'm going to solve from this portion. These are just for the sake of video, for the completeness of the video, because there should be some problem solving. Okay, so this what this means? Sin x is equal to 0, this implies x is equal to n pi, which means the set is actually pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, dot dot dot. And in this way, you can say that this one looks similar to the set of all natural number, those who know about the equivalency they can understand what i'm saying here but till since this uh, this the, i don't think you guys can understand now obviously this this set cannot have any limit point because there doesn't seem any place where the points are getting concentrated because they're discrete pi 2 pi 3 pi 4 pi 6 pi in this way okay so the derived set here derived set of s is equal to phi now obviously it is true that if this one is phi then phi is a subset of s or in other words s dash or the derived set of s is a subset of s which means say s is closed okay now for the second problem it is almost similar with this x is 1 by x okay so it means that 1 by x is equal to n pi which means that x is equal to 1 by n pi and clearly for the set 0 is limit point if 0 is the limit point then here is dash contains only 0 which does not contain oh my god I have written a set here so which is not subset of s therefore s is not closed okay so in my next video i'm going to talk about the closer interior and the adherent point boundary point all frontier point all those in further detail and from the next video uh, no i mean from the video after that i shall prove some very important and key theorems okay and then i shall start proving the uh, or solving the problems from some very famous book so i hope you have learned at least something from this video hope it will be fruitful for your result and for your learning and i hope that you all will love this series and please comment and tell me how this series is going this series on real analysis it is really good or it is of no use okay 
I hope it will be good. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good night.